all right guys as farming here and welcome to a first look uh map video on new park farm so this map came out today um on the mod hub uh, i haven't actually seen anything of this map like facebook wise or anything like that um before uh, coming out today so this is very much i haven't even dived into it and had a look around the map at all so this is very much going to be um a first look as um as the trend always does with my first looks i haven't been in it or anything at all so this is very much going to be a first look um a bit about the map before we dive into it um, it was a fictional map this so it's not um based on a, a a real area but i think it is from what the description says it is inspired um by some real farms that um, are set in the uk i think it's set in uh reading it Mm. Just says the UK, I think. I think it was. I thought it said it was set in Yorkshire, but I think it is. Just says the UK. Um, but um, I think it's quite a small map, judging from the PDA. So I'll put to the PDA, and it is quite a small looking map. Um, but it's got 33 fields, 33 fields rather, um, and three forests. Um, they can apparently can also. Um, if you wish, you can turn the forests um, into fields. Um, there's two farmyards. Uh, you got cows, pigs, and sheep on this map. So I'm guessing there's no um, horses or chickens, um, and then all the obviously all the um, various um, things. It is seasons ready as well, um, which um, for you season loving fans out there, you can play seasons on this map. Um, not sure about Maze Plus. Uh, doesn't say anything about maze plus um but um yeah it, uh, it's gonna be interesting i haven't seen anything of this map i didn't know anything about it until it came out today um so it's gonna be interesting so we will dive into it so yeah like i said from the pda it looks a like small small farm um this is obviously i'm starting on new farmer uh, this is obviously our main yard that uh, we start off with. Um, open this up. So we start off with, if we have a look at the PDA first. So we obviously start off with uh, this yard. We've obviously got plenty of equipment, which we'll have a look at in a minute. We've got fields 11, 12, 13, and 28. Uh, so you've got two arable fields and then you've got two grass fields which is quite nice <clears throat> and then at this uh, farm you've got cattle sheep and pigs i think you own oh no you just own the cattle cattle yards you don't own this this yard just over the road here um, and then what is quite nice as well is you've got another yard uh, just down the road which is a sheep and pig yard again um, which is quite nice you've got two um sheep paddocks and you've got uh, two pig paddocks which is uh, quite cool um, it's looking like as well there's two farmhouses which means this will work quite well um, for those of you like playing multiplayer so you can have one um, lot of um, people based at this farm and then you can have another lot based at the other farm which is quite cool um, like I said yeah there's no even though we've got we've got an egg cell point there's no chickens put on this farm um, and there's no horses either, so got a shop just up the road. It'd be quite nice as well, quite nice, um, easy enough to uh, circle around the map having a look at it, which uh, will make it easier for us to have a look at. But um, yep, so we'll have a look at what equipment we own first. Uh, so we've got a fence, which is 115, and then a case. 170 horsepower, got the normal New Holland Combine, Farm Tech, Grain Trailer, Grain Header, Plow, Cultivator, all your sort of small size equipment, Fertilizer, Mower, Tedder, Rake, Baler, Round Baler, I'm guessing the Fent is probably the front loader, so I can probably go on that, anyway, got a bale foot with that, um, and that's obviously all of our animal pens um oh we earn we we own two windmills as well which is quite cool that's interesting 
something new on a map I haven't seen before. Um, you can see him in the distance over there, actually. So if he wanted to, if you're not into the whole windmill thing, you could sell them to and get, you know, quite a fair bit of money off that if you wanted to, um, which would be quite good to start off with. So um, this is obviously our grain silo, which you reverse up to here, and then you load your trailers up here. Quite a nice big storage shed. Very hilly map. <laughs> you wouldn't want to do too many round bells on that field. Quite a nice storage sheds. Plenty of storage. Then you've got two uh, silage bunkers, it look like. So you've got one that's inside, and then you've got one that's outside. So they're side by side there. Plenty of storage. Plenty of storage. Right, nice. What have we got around here? So that I'm guessing is where you pick your milk up. Uh, you got your water here, which is cool. So this is this is field thirteen. This is this is one of the grass fields that you start off with, and then you can obviously go to your backfield over here. Which is field number 12 so you're in this field this grass field and this grass field nice little two nice little fields it's definitely i i mean even though i i wouldn't say you could perhaps even though you can do multiplayer on this obviously with the two houses farmhouses I wouldn't say you could have masses of people playing on this map because the fields aren't very big and the map in general isn't very big. Um, but it is quite a nice uh, single player map. Uh, you can open all this up. This is where you put your animals. So you can fit 200 cows um, at this farm, which is cool. And quite nice sheds. I'm guessing this is perhaps where you feed your cows. Doesn't look like there's anywhere else you could perhaps feed them. Um, can open all the gates up, which is nice. That's where your slurry is. Got your manure there, so you wouldn't want too big of a tractor to um, shovel out the manure out of there. But yeah, I'm guessing you would feed your cows along here. And I'm guessing that's where you put your straw as well, because I can't see any other trigger um, lines on the floor for it. So, um, but yeah, they've got a decent little little field, nicely fenced, big fences. <laughs> but yeah, nicely fenced. Obviously, get into it as well. Plenty of gates. I'm not sure. It'd be quite nice if the gates were lowered a bit. They look a bit odd in the in the in the air, a bit like that. It'd just be nice if they were lowered a bit, but other than that, they look all right. They all work fine, which is good. So but yeah, they just look a bit <laughs> look a bit odd in the in the air like that. They just they need I think they need to put in just a bit bit down, but other than that, they all look uh, all look good. <laughs> So then over the road, you have got the sheep and pig yard. Some nice double gates here. So entrance is over here. Plenty of entrances to get into your main yard. Um, so you've got sheep on the left hand side just here. That's obviously where your wool spawns. This will be where you put your animals in. You can get 80 sheep in this uh, this yard, which, to, to be fair, for the size of paddock, and if you're going to be using seasons, you wouldn't want too many sheep in here, to be fair. So I'd say that's quite realistic, having 80 sheep in here. Um, but, uh, yeah, it'd be nice if the gates were all this sort of height. But uh, quite some some biggish fields. Very hilly map, which is cool. 
and then you've got your pigs next door so yeah you've got water here that's where you obviously feed them that's where you put your sheep in and that's where the wool spawn so all in the same sort of close net area um how many pigs can we get in we can get 100 pigs in here which again is fairly realistic that's where you obviously feed them and that's where your water is But uh, yeah, sort of fairly standard pig pen. But I like how he's done it realistic numbers wise. Because you get some maps where you perhaps get a paddock that sort of size and you can fit 400 pigs in it, which in reality <laughs> would just not be a thing. I mean, to be honest, to say that 100 pigs could go in here is pushing it a bit. But, you know, he's made it more realistic than what, you know, a lot of uh, mappers do. Um so yeah so i don't think we start with the truck so i think if we hop in this tractor um and we will go and have a drive about if i just turn up my volume a bit more i want to go just a touch more right so we can obviously go in a uh, in a circle on this map which is good Very hill, hilly. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't uh, recommend doing too many round bales on those uh, those fields. If we will turn left and do a uh, a loop. So obviously that's a shortcut to take through the map that way. But we obviously we're going to go around the outside um, and have a look at things. If I just shut that off, there we go. It is quite, I think it's this guy's first map, and he, you know, he hasn't done a first bad attempt, I would say. Looks quite nice overall. This map, I don't think you'd want too big of equipment uh, with how tight some of these lanes are. Um, and how small some of the fields are anyway. Um, so this is East New Park Farm. So this is our second um, our second yard. And this has got the, another pig and um, sheep pen at it. So this is where you could choose to set up as well. Because obviously there's another farmhouse here which is cool. So there you go, it's got two farmhouses, which is cool. It'd be nice as well if this grew. I don't know whether he's purposely done it so it looks like it's mowed, perhaps, but it looks a bit odd. Short like that. It'd be nice if that grew. Um, decent amount of storage again. So it looks like it's a very, very similar pen to the one at the other sheep yard. This holds, again, 80 sheep, so obviously wool here. That's where you put your sheep in, this is where you feed them. And then obviously the other side you've got the water point. So very, very similar. And again, yeah, this will hold, again, 100 pigs. You can fit um, 160 sheep on this uh, this map and uh, 200 pigs, which, you know, for, for the size of the map, I'd say, you know, that's fairly, fairly realistic and optimistic. So um, it's quite nice as well. He's... You know, there's a nice balance between arable fields and grass fields, which is good. Um, it's obviously a lot, a lot of people, like on Bessie Beneath, as much as, you know, I like Bessie Beneath, a lot of people have um, complained about the amount of, um, of grass fields. So it's obviously a big thing for people to have a nice balance between grass and arable fields, which I think this map has, to be honest. Um, and there's obviously... I don't think there's any uh, silage bunkers at the biogas. I think he said there's only two um, silage bunkers on this map, which is obviously the two we saw at the main farm. So you're not going to want too many um, grass fields anyway because of um, how many bunker silos you've got. Um, saying that, you've got one there. <laughs> he says there's only two. There's one there as well. So you've got, you've got three so far we've seen. I don't think there is any of the, the uh, biogas. We'll obviously see um, when uh, we go around there, but uh, yeah. 
still a decent amount of storage at this uh, this farm, so you could easily set up at this um, and store, you know, whatever you fancy. I'm guessing this is a fuel tank you can fill up at, or it's just decoration. Nope, you can fill fuel up. That's that that works. That fuel tank. So if we head on round again, we're going to sort of take a bit of a scenic route um, to all of our um, cell points. So if we turn right here. Oh, can I overtake this car? Just. So yeah, a mixture sort of medium to small size fields. But I don't think you would want too big of equipment on this map. It's definitely for you uh, small equipment lovers, this map. Nice and hilly. I quite like it being hilly. So this looks like a little storage yard coming up on our right. We park up here. So obviously if you take that shortcut, that road from the main farm upwards, this will take you to the storage yard just here. Um, I don't think there's anything special, just a few little sheds. You can store whatever you fancy in, perhaps a few bales or some equipment. Um, you might get a field with this yard. Yes, yeah, you get field three with the yard as well, which um, which is handy. So, and you can see your windmills that you own there. I don't know how much you would earn off the windmills per hour. I feel, to be honest, to start with, I would sell these because they're going to give you 1.2 million, which is going to, I think, to be honest, is going to set you up a lot more than what the windmills are going to earn you per hour. Um, I mean, if anybody knows what these windmills do earn you an hour, then uh, please do feel free to comment down below. But I feel as if 1.2 million is going to be a lot more valuable than... Um, whatever they're going to be in an hour. Um, so, I suppose the thing is as well, is it's going to be difficult to um, sell these and then what would you put in their place? You could perhaps put some um, greenhouses, some greenhouses up here, but I don't know, it's quite a nice feature to have. That you've got that you start off with two. Um, I quite like the fact he's put like a uh, what would you call this little little building for them. I'm not sure what you would call this, but I mean, if you really don't like them, like I said, you could always sell them and put some. Um, some greenhouses in their place instead but I think yeah if you wanted to just not have anything it would be difficult because you've got this big hill here so to plow this all you know over and have it as a bigger field you'd be a bit difficult with this uh, this lip in the field so um, but you know, I will leave that to, to you guys. If you fancy playing this map, I'm sure lots of you will have ideas on uh, on what you'd want to do. But yeah, little storage yard you've got here that comes with field number three. So we will carry on round. Obviously, this is our forestry area on the... Um, left hand side so you've got looks like two, yeah, two forestry areas and he did say that you could if you wanted to you could plow them up and have them as a field so that is one thing if you cut the logs down um, and you're not really a fan of doing forestry again um, 
then uh, you can easily have it as an arable field or a grass field, whatever you fancy. So this is a few of our cell points here. So we've got, this is the animal dealership, I think. I think this is the animal dealership. Looks very much like an animal dealership. This is where you purchase your animals from, just here. So quite standard, sort of your average uh, animal yard. So animal yard. Animal uh, buy point, animal market. That's obviously a wool sell point, I would think. So you've got wool here and eggs is what you sell here. Looks like you'd sell milk here, but no, this is a milk and egg sell point. So I'd imagine this is wool and this is eggs. Um, I wonder if you could buy this yard. Let's have a quick look. You can buy that yard. She could use this as a bit of a placeable yard as well, if you wanted to. Put something in here, because it's obviously quite a flat area, so that might be something for you guys to think about. You could perhaps put um, some additional sell points in here, or you could put some other um, placeables. But yeah, something to think about. And how much is it? It is... To buy this area is... 80k so not cheap but something extra for you be for you to be able to do ah here we go so there are silage uh bunkers at the biogas you've got four decent sized ones not the biggest i don't think but uh, decent enough decent enough sized so here we go this is the biogas plant Standard looking again. Um, you've got the grain cell point next door. Quite like that. Little booth. Then you've got a wood cell point over here. So obviously sell your logs here. And then that's where your wood chips would sell. So. Yeah, fairly self-explanatory. I think there's just the one, yeah, just the one grain sell point. So you sell all your grain here, no matter what. Whatever the price is, you're always going to get the best price here. Ooh. Um, and the last thing to have a look at is the shop. It's sort of a um, a short first look video, but it is it is a small map. It is a little map, so. But uh, yeah, there you go, there's another forestry area there. It's not a bad looking map to be fair. For the, for the, I think this is the guy's first map. I think he's done a decent enough job. For a little UK map, it's, uh, he's done a decent job, I think. Um, so we go in. Just here. And this is how you get to the shop. Taylor's Agricultural Engineers. So here you go, this is your shop. Then you've got your workshop just by the side. I don't think there's a workshop at the main farm. I don't remember seeing one. Um, yeah, this is obviously your shop. Cash point. Not best placed but that's just nitpicking so yeah fairly standard shop um, and I think that is it I think we have covered everything so yeah just to recap then so you've obviously you've got uh, this is what you start off with so you've got field 28 11 12 and 13 you start off with this cow yard you don't start off with the um, the yard just over the road um, and then obviously if you want to play multiplayer, you've got a second farmhouse placed down at the other animal yard, the second animal yard. Um, and then you've got a nice storage yard just here. You've got one windmill here, 
and another windmill there. So that's where your two windmills are. And then all your cell points are at the top left-hand side. But um, it is quite quite a nice little map. Um, it's going to suit you. If you like playing with little machinery or you want to be you want a map to play um with little machinery then this is quite an ideal map to uh to play i think pro field prices wise mm, they're not the cheapest um but i suppose that sort of makes it a bit more challenging for you, you get to 23 and 33 together there but on the whole i think yeah most of them are you buy the third on its own Forestry areas don't look uh, too expensive. 4482. But um, yeah, I hope um, you have enjoyed this first look video. If you have, please remember to uh, to hit that like button um, and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're uh, if you're new to it. And I will hopefully see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye guys.